Hello guys. Today I am going to introduce new concept that is Angular JS 2 meets JSP. This is again one more crazy combination where most of the people they will not be aware of combining Angular JS 2 with JSP, otherwise PHP, otherwise ASP or any other technologies. So in this particular session, I am going to introduce you that particular concept. How we can combine Angular JS 2 code with JSP program. In this particular uh, video, I am going to show you uh, one JSP program which will be inserting the data into database. That is MySQL uh, database I will be inserting where I will be having one Angular JS 2 program which will hit that particular uh, JSP program so that JSP program will contact with MySQL, MySQL will insert the data into database. Let me show you what are the requirements we need for this particular session. Uh, we need to have one particular Angular JS 2 program and we need to have one JSP program, MySQL DB, Apache Tomcat, uh, we need to have MySQL type 4 server. Of course, uh, whatever uh, Angular JS 2 requirement uh, server like TypeScript, uh, compiler, and uh, Node.js server, all those things you need to install it priorly. Uh, where I have did all those things in my system, if you want to know how to install AngularJS2 libraries and uh, how to install and how to deploy AngularJS2 program into Apache Tomcat, you can refer my prior videos which is available in what's my suggestion. Okay, let me proceed with the topic. Now, let me show you what all the things which is required for me you can see this is the program which I have written over here uh, where index.html it is very similar to our previous program main.ts and uh, hello world uh, component.ts is what it has been changed and module is remains same index.jsp and error.jsp and component.ts these three things has been added newly display.html which is not required I can delete it off right now yeah I have deleted now what I have written in component.ts let me show you you can see in hello world component.ts I have a selector hello uh, template URL it will take you to app slash index.jsp so index.jsp should be available under app folder you can see app folder it is there now we have index.jsp which is uh, importing java.sql I hope uh, there is no error page over here so error.jsp is also not required yeah uh, this is hitting my uh, database adv and it is inserting 22 teja 12.34 this is what the data which is available and if I execute the record should be inserted right now that is what the program is all about for your understanding let me change it to triple two because uh, already I have executed this particular program okay uh, this I have to save it separately because on server we cannot do any editings okay then I'll uh, save it uh, in some other location I'll copy it back yeah yeah in G drive it is pasted let me go to G drive and uh, get the file and uh, paste it back over here yes okay now I can open it yes you can see hmm. now it is modified so this I will be hitting and I will be retrieving the data from the MySQL let me run the program okay uh, before going to run the program first what we need to know where we need to paste this particular uh, complete folder uh, you can see this is what my folder angular 2 meet JSP this project I will be dumping into Tomcat 8.5 web apps here it is dumped you can check my uh, previous video how to dump it and how to install Apache Tomcat also it is explained over there very clearly uh, now I have dumped it over here next thing I will get into MySQL just you need to install MySQL. MySQL installation uh, video also have uh, uploaded already. You can check for that. Okay, use uh, 
adv is my database okay it is not adv something else let me get into that let me see use adv okay use adv okay yes uh, select a star from emp you can check this is what the records 11 records are there now if i execute this particular program it should insert uh, one more record that is 12th record should be inserted now let me run this particular program uh, for running this particular program uh, if you do any change in the component you need to compile by making use of typescript compiler how to compile by making use of typescript compiler you just uh, uh, get to know by my previous video and uh, one more thing to be said over here for this particular program we need uh, one jar file that is uh, type 4 uh, jar file for java where that you need to get it and in tomcat 8.5 lib folder you dump it you can see mysql uh, connector dot java dot this jar you just uh, uh, go to google let me show you just a second yeah go to google and uh, com dot mysql dot jdbc dot jar just type it you'll get the link you click on this okay and uh, click on download it will get downloaded that's it very simple uh, then you extract that particular jar file and dump it over here this is what the jar file which is required uh, similarly for php program usp program whatever the supporting requirements is there you just dump it respect to servers okay this i'm showing you re uh, with respect to jsp same way you can run it uh, your php and asp programs also okay fine now get into 8.5 bin and tomcat 8exe i'm starting up yes server is starting up yeah it got started with uh, this many milliseconds okay go to this type localhost colon 8080 you can see slash my project name you can check it out okay copy this okay paste it enter to showing uh, loading record inserted now you just go here and uh, hit this 12 lows and that record is inserted in this way whereas in this way we can invoke uh, our uh, jsp page and we can perform the operation not only for uh, just hitting that particular uh, pages we can pass the parameters also we can retrieve the response we can parse the data from that particular jsp pages also how to do that all those things I will be doing separate videos on that specifically whereas these are the some of the crazy combinations which I'm listening as a questions from uh, my candidates so I'm making a video specifically for this if you are looking for any other crazy combinations like this please comment below so that I can make a video separately for you thank you